Maybe you should pursue your dreams. I guess I've put it off for too long. Don't worry, Sonny. Never fear, Blue. Stick with me. Welcome back to 72 at 31. I'm your host, Doug Powell, and with me today is Henley Vision Productions, uh, one of our teams from the 72 Film Fest. How are you guys doing today? Good. 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 Thanks for joining us. Um, so uh, why don't we get started? You guys just kind of look at the camera, introduce yourselves individually. I'm Jason Henley. Um, I, that's where the Henley Vision comes from. Um, this is my wife, Ashley. I'm Ashley Henley. Spouse to Jason Henley. <laughs> <laughs> we got David. David Wall. Uh, just a friend of the group. Not affiliated <laughs> with them. <laughs> Not a Henley. Not the spouse <laughs> of the spouse. No. I'm uh, Justin Sheep. I'm, I'm the muscle. Yeah! <laughs> I thought I was the muscle this whole time. <laughs> I'll have to pick a new role today. So, um, well, wh what I really want to get into with you guys First of all, well, first of all, how many years have you guys been involved in the Film Fest? We've done like five. No, three. No, four. No, four. 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 I feel like there's four, but we may have skipped one. No, year. we did you four. Started in 2010, <laughs> maybe. I would believe sounds, that. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, that we sounds did right. four, and then only one of them was live action. We did right. live action the first year, and right. then we. And then we were like, "This is too much trouble like, working with humans." Right? Yes. So you thought. <laughs> Humans yes. was the pain in the ass. Yeah. Well, because first year was a dog involved. Too. Right, right. Yeah, yeah that was a right. disaster. So, yeah. yeah, dogs and kids. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> so, for for those people watching that might not be super familiar with your work, the last few years that you all have done the f the film fest, you've been the only team that has. That, well, maybe there have been others, but from what I can remember, the only team that's done stop motion uh, animation. So, since this festival is so short, it's so short, it's compact into a weekend, why would you want to take on the task of doing stop motion animation in such a short period of time? It's a good question. It's a solid it's question. A solid, it's fair. I'm dying to know. It's fair. Insanity? Well, I don't know. We've done the 48 hour film festivals before. Did you do that? No. Okay. No. no. It's impossible. Cutting your papers no. faster. No. Go faster. No, no, it's barely possible with the 72 hours. Yeah, it's true. Um, I think it's just, this festival's so big, there's so many groups, right. and it's very difficult to stand out. Right. Um, and, I mean, the one year we did the live action, it was fine. Yeah. I, I, it's not memorable. <laughs> I mean... It was just us, I was, think, and uh, like our friend who was acting in it. Yeah. I remember your running. I, yeah. Yes. yes. Your running was very, very awesome. It was very comedic. It was like a... That's his normal <laughs> <world>. <laughs> That's what it is. Awesome. You Scare run when you go around. for a jog, you like wear clothes, regular clothes, and you're always looking behind you. Yeah. 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 That's good memory. That's, good memory. <laughs> That's the thing about jogging, though, is that like it, your outfit determines whether people should be concerned for you. That's fair. That's right. fair, too. If I see someone running, looking over their shoulder, and they're I'm wearing clothes, right, yeah. As well. right. You know, just, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so we had a really like tiny group, and I think well, that was the other problem because yeah. like so, so many groups have massive groups. Yeah, yeah. true. And I mean, t for us, like the four of us, this is this is big. This w the first year we did stop motion, it was just Ashley and I. Mm -hmm. And what was the first one that you guys did? It was it was the uh, the uh, trip the, the trip treat yeah. 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 yeah which was like uh, was done with fest. Was it was the script fest and that was done with like Barbie dolls yes and that was before we had like the fancy software we didn't too. have software yet we bought we bought um, dollhouse dolls and dollhouse mm -hmm. paraphernalia and it 
that stuff is not meant for stop motion at all. Okay. And it was miserable process because they would falls over. Yeah, you can't get them to stand up. They yeah. fall over all the okay. time. And yeah, and not a lot of range of motion in the in the. There's experience. no motion yeah. and 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 nothing. You know, we we had all these different pieces and none of them were to scale with each other. So like the house was shorter than the people. <laughs> <I remember. laughs> Which made good, which made a, a funny uh, aspect for the trip scene when this guy. Right. So in this film, uh, trip or treat. Trip or treat. Yeah. The main character gets basically drugged by a friend of theirs or a yeah, partner well, or something. Yeah, with cough syrup. With cough yeah. syrup yeah. and goes on this uh, scissor trip <laughs> through the which neighborhood. Which worked really Halloween. well for the media. I mean, like for the stop motion, it was, it was insane. Yeah. yeah. When we were when we got our our, our script because that was the year you, the script you, fest. The script yeah. fest. We, we got it and we're like, it's a trippy one. We had the option to trade with people. And we're like, this one lends itself pretty well. It's a, yeah. it's a... Okay. You, you, you did really cool things with it. The little uh, paper ghosts that danced together. <laughs> that was really cool. And that was all, that was all that was nice. I think yeah. you were editing and I was like, I'm yeah. gonna mess around this Yeah. <laughs> so that was, that was before you had any software that, that did the stop motion for you? Well, it doesn't do it for you. It doesn't help for you. It helps you do it more. How does it help? For, we'll explain because you can see yeah. kind right. of the previous frame. It All right, ghosts, so it goes to the previous frame. Okay. So, like so shot you take. Okay. When you do it just out of the camera, you're just literally just taking photos. Yeah. And you got no idea what you have. Okay. And, and you use, you know, on the DSLR, you do the scroll wheel and you try to watch it in real time as they as they mm -hmm. scroll through, and you have no idea for like pacing or for like what's what's the speed of of the shot that you just did. It was very difficult to do. Okay. Um. With the new software, you can, like you said, you can you can see the shot you just took, and and you can kind of ghost it over the next shot. So you can yeah. see how far something's moved. I see. So if something falls over, which happens, you can put it right back. You can kind of line it up. Exactly. Yeah. All right. And and also you can watch your shot as you're shooting it. What's the name of the software? Dragon Frame Three. Dragon Frame Three. Okay. Yeah, that's been invaluable. <sighs> And you also don't have yeah. to touch the camera, like there's the little touch, yeah, keypad you don't, you don't, to take. You don't, that's true. Yeah. Okay. That was well, my job Touching the camera might get it off, off center. Yeah. But that yeah. happens yeah. sometimes anyway. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. all the time. Yeah. Yeah. You've got yeah. people moving around a set. All the yeah. time. Oh, yeah. Like some people are moving the characters and you're trying to man the camera. Yeah. And someone just barely knocks something and then... Uh, and then you have the, the shots that are moving while you're trying to move. Like if it's like a pan and you're moving the characters, it gets so complicated. So you're the camera across and moving the character. Huh. Well, the other cool thing is that, like, when, like, let's say you've got a character and he's like, he's kind of moving around, but then he's staying still for a second. Yeah. And then, like, the times when he's not moving, you don't have to keep taking a photo over and over I again. See. You okay. Can just, you could say, repeat this shot oh, for the next for like 10 frames, frames or whatever. Or so that software is invaluable to you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Cool. And, and had you had experience with stop motion any of you guys before you started doing this? Nope. You, I mean, like you. Well, when I was when little, you were a kid. I had when you were little, like when I was little, I had the GI Joes and I got the family camcorder out. Did and you was, stop motion it? I did, and it was terrible. But for like a ten-year-old, I think it was actually pretty good. It was good. Him. I'd love to see this footage. <laughs> you guys, you guys did good things when you were, when you were younger. Yeah, yeah. We had the family camcorder had a time lapse feature on it, and and I mean, it was it was horrible looking. But for for our how old we were, it was it was good. And did you know that this is something you, you wanted to do forever? Is, has this been kind of like, I'm going to do some yeah. aspect of film? Yeah. 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 Okay. All of you? Are you all in that same boat? No. <laughs> no. 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 No, not necessarily. Not necessarily. We're all just here for Jason's vision. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. sound. That was my... You ran sound. Do you normally do that with the group? Uh, yeah. Like You've done sound. You did a lot more animating this time. This time. But yeah. You, like, on other projects with Hannah Vision, I, I run like Boom or and cool. yeah, set up mics. And By stuff. yourself? Um, mostly what? artwork, uh, yeah. set design, and, cool. and props, and, and then voice work also, voice acting. Okay. So. And, you, and you said you're a graphic designer by trade? Yeah. Okay, and, and so. what, do you, what do you all do outside of uh, the film fest? I'm an editor mm -hmm. uh, with Discovery. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I, I, t I took a look at your reels. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, cool. Yeah. So, so you are making a living at, at the craft? Yes. Yeah, yes. cool. Awesome. Yourself? I'm in marketing. Okay. If in pharmaceutical. Oh, marketing mm -hmm. pharmaceutical. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. a drug dealer. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this cool. is a departure. <laughs> cool. And yourself? Uh, I do like mechanical design and mechanical sort of board design. design, yeah. Really? Like an electrical engineer? Yeah. Yeah. But uh, without a degree. Yeah. Yeah. F degrees. <laughs> <laughs> so this is all kind of uh, brought, did you bring this team together when you decided, like, was it you so. that were like, I want to do yeah. this film fest? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. no. I it, think it, it was, might have been you. Yeah. 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 I think you found it. Yeah. And you were like, 
honey, this is good for you. Exactly. Well, I, yeah. think, I, I think she was like, let's do it, and then we did it, and the next year she's And then like, we're like, we need more people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was more. Yeah. 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 It's, it was so hard when it was just the two of us. It's a test for the marriage. It, it was. The <laughs> 72 <laughs> Fest takes another marriage down this year. <laughs> we made it. We made it. Well, I like how it was hard at first, and then you went from that to... Hey, let's do stop motion. <laughs> right. Because our marriage almost didn't <laughs> make it. <laughs> it's stop motion. Because like we've, we've done these before. We've done the forty-eight hour ones before. Okay. And I think we've 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 dabbled in the stop motion just just for kicks and like yeah. you were really interested in it. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't really know why either. But like I was. But I then was, you got really into well, it. I was like so that when was we good. started talking about doing it, I was like, yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> that'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, it's really really hard to do in seventy two hours. Yeah. Well, you guys do a good job of it, and, and uh, especially last year's the, um, what did you guys, you got Analyze This and Feel the Dreams were yeah. your two yes. films, right? Yeah. Because last year, Dream the this. theme was you had, you picked two films at random, and you had to uh, find a way to, if you were sitting in a pitch with the producer, say, this film is this film meets this film, basically, right? right? Uh, so you guys uh, did a claymation take on Feel the Dreams yeah. and Analyze This, and it was this farmer hearing voices just like in Feel the Dreams, but then went to a psychiatrist uh, to find out what it was all about. Which is what well, most people would start hearing voices do. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. As opposed to in Field of Dreams. Yeah. He, he just goes with it. He started seeing ghosts <laughs> as well. Yeah, right. And everybody thought it was normal because it was Iowa. And that's what happens in Iowa. Um, so what, what, how, how do you think, like, I guess, what, what's your favorite film that you've done over the past four or five years so far? I think the last one. Probably last one. Yeah. Last do you feel like they've gotten better every yeah. year? Yeah. yeah. I do. I have a special place in my heart for the Trip or Treat movie, though. Yes. It was. It was very dear. <laughs> yeah. It was dear. It was. A, it was a lot of heart. <laughs> yeah. There was so much heart well, in we it. We wanted like, the characters don't speak in that movie. There was. Yeah. Script. Right. Right. We didn't have it's time. It's just like some. It's just like rectangular <laughs> thought we bubbles. No time. Yeah. Well, we were hoping to do like uh like sim like. From the game The Sims, where like, blah, 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 blah. you know, we were kind of hoping to have like something jargon just over. We ran out of time. We don't. Oh, the Simlish. Yeah. 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 We're hoping to, to use that. So yeah, that, that movie has has a special. Yeah. Place. But, but last year was like the quality. I, I think, think we took it to, and David's voices were ridiculous. Yes, last he did quite, year too. He did quite well. Yeah. That's Thank awesome. You. <laughs> what about um? <clears throat> I really liked your your shape. The movie, uh, the film you guys made. I guess it was 2013. Shape the yeah. future. Yes. Shape yeah. the future. Um. Tell us a little bit about the story of that of that film. That was we had a, a weird scientific. Uh, <laughs> what was our theme? It was this. It was the year of the different science. Yeah, and like air principles, air and it was like the most thing. complicated one. Some That's obscure. what you want your movie to be about: is air, <laughs> air pressure. pressure. Right. It was a very technical. I was like, hoping we're getting time travel or <laughs> no. air or, or, or relativity or something. Yeah, no, get air some pressure. like totally obscure thing. Like, <laughs> that only had to do with storms or something. Right. Yeah. We all just we all we learned nothing. We in a circle. Yeah. We learned nothing about our scientific principle, obviously. It seems like you did. You, you pulled it off. <laughs> Something to do with air pressure. Yeah. At one point, we literally just illustrated it and then moved on. Yeah. <laughs> but, like done. Well, that was uh, what I really liked about that film is how the story was really cute. How there's this little guy who's like, no, I'm going to prove you guys wrong. There's there's something else out there. That what do they all live on a little island? Yeah. Yeah. Shape yeah. land. Shape land. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> and uh, and then they go, they overcome this vortex, which you guys now know all of the science behind. Exactly. And, and, uh, recite it. Exactly. Uh, and then they, they end up in uh, a toilet. Yes. Yeah. They come into in the our house. Yeah. In yeah. the real world. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Covered in the toilet. Covered in shit. Yeah. 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 Only one of them. So that's good. Yeah. 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 He takes just... the toilet paper off. Yeah. The first person, so scientifically, the first one through the vortex. Covered in shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's Just what happens. So you guys know. Um, but I really like what you guys do with it. And, and when you got into the real world, I like the way that uh, they were kind of like experimenting and exploring the new world, laying on the carpet and going to sleep in the little shoe. It was, it was really creative. That was another, yeah. uh, that was another dog interaction too, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There was we one last shot. I forgot about that. Yeah, the dogs have to make, make it they into do. the movie. Yeah. yeah. So why, why no humans? Why, uh, what is so hard about humans? I mean, you don't have to tell me. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, I think some of it is honestly getting people to commit. I mean, it, we're like in our thirties, people have families yeah. and, and commitments. So we're like, They're hey, selfish. do you want to give yeah. us your entire weekend? Yeah, it's yeah. really hard to get people. It's hard to, None yeah. Of that. 
None of you act. Don't act. Yeah. Well, and also with with the stop motion, we can have a fluctuating workforce. We start out for the most part like the usually like the three of us will get started. Right. And then then you'll call in the muscle. And then we'll call in the muscle like a day later once we've got everything up and running. Yeah. Because like what Comes happens is it's like <laughs> it's like Santa's workshop at our house. Like so the, the night the night after the launch we'll. We'll plan, we'll write the scripts and everything. And David's like working on all like, the David's, set stuff. Yeah, like, he starts building everything. He's got like his X-Acto knife. And, he's, and I'm yeah, sitting there like focusing. tapping my foot. I'm like, I'm waiting for something so I can get started. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and once he, and, and we'll have several, so like once we get a whole process going, eventually like, we, have, we have duplicates of all the puppets. Yeah. So once everything's up and running and we're, we're good, we call the muscle in, and we get a second. We get a second stage set up. Okay. We have two cameras, two two computers with yep. the software running, so we can shoot two shots at once. Um, because like when you do like a real shoot, you can you can just handheld it, and you can yeah. you can get in, and you can like oh I got an idea for a shot, let's do a shot. It takes so there's, damn long. Yeah, right? there's no room. If there's you want a different angle, you start the whole shot over again. There's right? times we we run whole shots and then realize oh it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Right. And so you use hours of time to shoot a two, you know, a thirty second spot. Right. And, oh, nope, that didn't work. Awesome. Jeez, Louise. Yeah. I mean, especially in something that's so time crunched as the seventy two, you guys are gutsy for doing that. But I mean, I appreciate. I think we all appreciate it. My my wife is a huge fan of you guys' oh, films God. because <laughs> it breaks the monotony, and and they're always really cool. You know what I mean? It's like film after film, and then there's this. Like you, you almost sit there like, who the hell did claymation instead of it for like stop motion? That's crazy. And what? they're all like oddly innocent. I think because they usually, are innocent. Like, yeah. I'm usually doing like the story like while they're like working on stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. we'll like have the general idea and then like maybe I'll get in charge of like put you know putting the like script together so it's like all I don't know. It's cutesy and I'm trying to convince them to go a different. That's direction. what I want to talk about. So Justin, yeah. you were we talking might, about. Apparently, we might be taking a different. We might be going dark. We might be going dark. <laughs> the muscles taking you guys He's, to some crazy uh, places. I know. What do you think? You want to do like a stop motion horror film? Horror, yeah, yeah, just a total <laughs> departure. Because be cool. the last few years, it's been like very like. Hey, Not, hey are, are we getting typecast? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes, it's, it's real cutesy and it's great. And it's it works. family it's friendly. Yeah, right. But, It'd be fun to you step see like more a completely different blood and guts. He just, wants to see blood. Like, even if you didn't do that, like just to throw an audience off. Sure. Everyone's starting to like now. It's like, oh, this is a team that does those cute like. Stuff yeah. Mostly. There's nothing. Yeah. Wrong. And then something yeah. will come up and we're like, oh, what? The what children the like what we're doing. <laughs> is that something that you feel like is necessary to do within this community though? There, there. You have to. You have to like redefine yourself a little bit. No. Nah. Just fun. Just fun. Just fun. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'll probably yeah. get vetoed anyway. Like. I'm, yeah, intri put I'm, no, intrigued. I'm intrigued. That that sounds that sounds. It has to be a little cute. No, yeah. Horror it, movies can be so cute. The <laughs> ring was adorable. The girl was so cute. Horror. There was nothing cute about the ring. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that movie scared the hell out of me. It was a great movie. Yeah, I was so scared by that movie. I don't. I didn't watch TV for quite some time <laughs> after the ring. <laughs> <laughs> You really, yeah. yeah. Totally. Please don't go. Please don't go. <laughs> <laughs> do you all, um, do you work on any sort of films outside of the film fest? I mean, I know that you edit and you do that professionally. We, we have. Yeah, we've like, done we have. Harold's. Yeah, I, did, I did, did the one stop motion Harold. That took forever. That, that took, took like six months. Okay. I mean, that, that, was, that was my experiment. What if I had time? Okay. What if I was, was in a 72 fun. fest? Yeah, that was fun. It was fun. What did, what did you find? What was different? Um, the workflow was different. Um, well, it was just what, you, pretty It was much. pretty much just yeah. me. Okay. For and the there was most. no deadline imposed there on you. There was no so. deadline. Right. Well, like for the most part, so I, I think if you're doing it like, you know, the professional way, okay. um, you're going to record audio first and you kind of create your audio edit first and then, first, you, yeah. then you shoot to match that. Okay. And to do that, like, um, I, I, I made the audio, and then the, the puppet that I had, I had like, I think 15 different replacement mouths. Mm -hmm. And if you're doing it professionally, you go in the software and you kind of audition the different replacement mouths like over time, and you can kind of go ahead and plan ahead. You know, I'm gonna use mouth number three for four frames, and I'm gonna move to mouth number seven for another 10 frames, and, and you kind of plan out the whole thing, and you, okay. you can kind of watch it ahead of time and see if it works in the, in the software. And then when you're done, you have, Pretty much a shot list, say, you know, I don't know, for one shot, let's say it's 100, 100 frames or something, I don't know, and then I'll look at the list and I'll say, all right, it's time to switch, switch to, to, to this mouth, and I'll kind of like put the little mouth on there, I'll shoot it for the number of frames that's necessary, and 
you get a lot more um, accurate articulation I that see. way. Sure. When you've got time. But wow, does it take forever? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For the 72 Fest version of that, it's it's a little bit different. We it's have a rectangular <laughs> thought bubble with a dog in it. <laughs> well, no, we've, <laughs> we've got four yeah. different mouths now. The okay. mouth we've got a small circle, a slightly okay. smaller, a slightly larger circle. Um, that's just there's kind like of a straight that's line. for just talking. Like regular that's for talking, sure, sure. and then like for when he's not talking, there's just a straight like straight line. you know. Yeah. And then there's a a smiley face that you can turn upside down for a frown if <laughs> you <laughs> choose to. <laughs> and it's those four mouths, and that's it. Okay. Um, and when we shoot it. We don't have the audio done ahead of time, and we just kind of shoot oh, yeah. a bunch of that's that. So we kind of well, think. actually, shape the future. We did. We did. But we last did. year we did the audio we did. end. Right. Which, really? Which was, did we? Which was yeah. tough because remember we went out in the in the recording. I thought I thought we already had it uh, shot, or we were shooting it. No. No. no? We did the audio first. <laughs> wow. We might have done a little bit after, <laughs> it, but we did the bulk of it beforehand. Which huh. is well, if you do it afterwards, yeah. it's super tough because doing the audio you after you shoot. have like. Your entire flick. So right. then all of a sudden it's like he's he's doing the, the last one he did all the voice work, so you realize like his mouth's now all of a sudden not lining up with okay. words. And so yeah. you're having to like get creative with well, but and make Jason did a good job around. with estimating how much time was Absolutely. needed for this Absolutely. phrase and this sentence and, right. and then I was able to like just perform along with that and and then he can make adjustments in editing yep. and stretch frames Plenty and do things just like so. <laughs> <Lots of laughs> yeah. yeah. so. yeah. I think it's, it's a harder way to go about it. Like you know. Well, it's a little bit more flexible to go about it the way we did this year. Right. It's it's not as exact, but it's, right. it's a little it more flexible. It made me more nervous, though. It yeah. did. Because, what do you mean? Well, because we were putting it off to the end, and, <laughs> yeah. and it's like, well, well I don't, the, the, you know, would, we but have, it worked out, I think. Like, four hours for, like, the editing, and I think you did the voice work during the four hours. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It was yeah. pretty That's stressful. True. Yeah, it's just... Would you, would you rather in the future do it with audio first? Not necessarily. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I was nervous beforehand, but I think it worked out. Okay. I think it actually worked better. Okay, okay. it worked better. Now that you've seen that it can work. The final yeah. product, yeah. I think, okay. turned out better that way. Okay. You think so? Yeah. Doing it that way? As opposed to the the Shape Land version, where we yeah. okay, I I would agree with you, but I'm just I'm, <laughs> because, you're, because of your editing, that's what works. Like, okay. And your direction for David, as far as like pauses and things like that. So. Okay, but it's a, it's a compliment. I'll, I I appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, he, he also directs as when I'm acting, he's kind of you know he's direction. got the headphones on and he's like, well, no, do that again, but give right. me more of this or whatever, and just yeah. he's very good at that too. Cool. And then he's got like one hand on like the keyboard editing at the same time. <laughs> wow. So you've been doing this a long time. Yeah. 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 Well, not necessarily not stop motion. But just but like be, being behind the camera, yeah. playing with yeah. playing yeah. with film for a really long yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. What are your big aspir do you have big aspirations for this? I mean, what would you really it if would, you could wish something to happen with film, what would it be? It would be really fun to do stop motion for a living. I, I think that's a that's a really um, low percentage job. You know, it doesn't <laughs> pretty happen niche. to pretty niche. I feel like it was California raisin, and, and, and that was it. Yeah, yeah. The Wallace and Gromit and Sean the Sheep. It'd be like Coraline and stuff. Yeah. But, I mean, mm. yeah. realistically, that's Box, not. It's Box probably not. was all stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's not gonna. I mean. Uh, you so, want to be defeated? Well, it's probably not going to happen. Do you, do you see yourself like writing and, and creating your own um, feature or even short of the stop motion and just pitching it yourself? That's or? a great plan. Yeah, you yeah. Could do that. Kickstarter I, I, campaign. You could do yes. that. Be, yeah. They're all behind you. Yes, let's 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 all do it. You heard it here That's first. That's on folks. camera now. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. I would love do to you, do it. Do you have know. ideas in the in the? In the bank that like no. <laughs> that's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I do. Okay, cool. Yeah. All <laughs> horror movies. I really enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all horror, but like cute <laughs> horror. horror. Yeah, it's a little cute. I, I guess the problem with me is that I'm mostly focused on the technical stuff. I really and that's why this this contest is so good for me because it, it does all the hard work for me. It, it says it puts the idea there. This is what you have to yeah. work with. You, you got mean, nothing else to work okay. with. This is it. And then, Actually, there's most of the writing. Yeah. Yeah, and you so, just love everything I that love happens the after technical, that. Yeah. And that constrained timeline really forces you to just make decisions and not Deadlines dwell on You cannot on second or, think. Yeah. 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 Deadlines like, right, let's yes, just do yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. Right. 
Yeah. Do you do you guys ever give yourselves deadlines outside of the seventy two fest, or is this the only time? No. Yeah, where's where, where, uh, That's how you work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it does. I mean, that's the way to get something done. If you want to get something done, set a deadline, and you have to do it. David and I had a, we made ourselves a deadline when uh, last year when everyone was allowed to make the the team opening video. Oh, the black and white. Yeah, we yeah. had we we made ourselves a crazy deadline to produce. We did a stop motion intro. Okay. And we did that in a the day. Pulling that, the rope and the. Yeah, that, that was cool. a brutal yeah. day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a brutal day. Was yeah. There was day. no need was to get that done, done in a day. But you I made think it, it was due the next day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that'll do it. We waited. We waited until we procrastinated. That'll do it. Yeah, yeah. That'll do it. So each of you tell me individually who are your biggest film influences? Oh God! Please don't. Yeah, <laughs> Tell me, I want to know. She hates this question no, because yeah, I always so, say something embarrassing. Because like he's like the least like pretentious person. So like if you ask him this question, he's gonna be honest, and it's probably gonna be. All right, all right, you're right. It's not gonna be like something. Right, 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 I can't take it back now. Right, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I want a movie. I I don't really have a person so much. Mm. I want a movie that I can watch from beginning until end, and. Air Bud. No. All right. All right. Let me just tell you. One of my favorite. Step up from there. One, one of my favorite movies. I mean, it's, it's not a bad. Ocean's Eleven. Right. It's not like a fancy movie, but I, like Ocean's I enjoy. 11. It. Yeah. If I start watching it, I will watch it until it's over. And I'm remake not, or the original? Of course, the Soderbergh one. Of course, that one. No one's seen the old. One. Um, it's terrible. But. My grandfather is gonna watch this. And <laughs> <laughs> I like I like really fun movies. I won't I won't get more embarrassing than that. But you like really fun movies. I yeah, want movies to be fun because yeah. I want to be entertained. You want to be entertained. And I I will get artsy fartsy like everybody else. But I'm come on. I want movies that are just fun. Yeah. There you are. I think what that I think that like Scorsese would define his work as artsy fartsy, wouldn't you? Like it yes. says in his bio. Yeah. It should. The word fartsy. It should. <laughs> yeah. um, how about you? Um. Oh gosh, I don't know. What do I? What are your favorite movies? Um. I my favorite movie is Ghost World. Do you remember that one? Ghost World. Uh, um. Thor Thora Birch, Birch yep. and mm -mm. um Scarlett Johansson like back in the day. Yeah, huh. Um. But it was originally a graphic novel. Mm -hmm. I love that movie. Well, Jimani. Yes. Super no, yeah, yeah, Super yeah. Shemmy. Super Shemmy. Okay. Super Shemmy. I don't know. Let's I don't know. It's a hard one. It's, to, so it's a hard, hard. Thing to ask because, like, it. it, it I ask it's so the hard questions, people. Jason. It, it, it's basically saying, what kind of a person are you? <laughs> that is how, what I'm asking. How pretentious of a person are you? <laughs> so, David. So, David, how pretentious, how pretentious of a person are you? Not, not in the slightest. Uh, I, I like comedies a lot and yeah. kind of fun movies, too. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like Get Shorty or uh, Big Trouble, things like that. Mm -hmm. Big just like lots of, yeah, you know, just a lot happening and overlap. And sure. Because I love Seinfeld and like the way those complexities work and, and how I, they tie together. How, yeah, everything yeah. ties together. Mm -hmm. Just I don't know. I like Were that. you a Mr. Show fan? Did you ever get into Mr. Show? Uh, not much. Not much. We started watching that. Yeah, we did. We David Cross. David Cross, Bob Odenkirk. Yeah. There, there. It's a sketch Odenkirk's show that's good. It's good. All it tends really to tie good. together toward the end. Yeah. Definitely a paradigm shift in sketch comedy back in the 90s. Yeah. How about you? How pretentious of a person? <laughs> not at all. Not, absolutely not at all. Uh, like childhood that I still hold on to is the Goonies because yeah. you can't let go of Hell yeah, movies. man. And then uh, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre is probably my favorite. See, this is, he's bringing the real yeah. stuff. I know, guys. I know. It's going to be a cross between Goonies and Texas yes. Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> <laughs> I, have no, I have no pretensions. This is our time down here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I definitely want to see more stuff from you. You definitely, well, you you might not compete this year because you guys have are expecting yeah, a little. Yeah, yeah, we got a little bun, bun in the oven. a very inconveniently timed bun coming at the beginning of October. We've been talking. I'm like, is there? Can do you think? Like, no, I'll no. be like in labor, like when it's happening. But do you think we could? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just set up in the hospital room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we but should. next year we'll. For Absolutely, sure. next year. Yeah. Well, yeah, because it's even easier with a one-year-old. Uh, it's even easier. <laughs> <laughs> one-year-olds are lumps. Like, literally They're just lumps. Now, one-year-olds are moving around. That's true. And you're, like, trying to keep up with them. That's so true. you get into that. Like, pass them off to the grandma or something. You just got to... 
keep going. You just gotta yeah. keep making films, yeah. even though you got kids. Yes, just strap them to you and That's go. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, That's right. right. I have no intention of stopping. No. <laughs> Cool. We well, haven't discussed, but we have no. I have no intention. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't run no, this by I'm you, but I'm not stopping. I'm good with that. <laughs> you should have balance, like one of you, one of you two yeah. will always have to be. Yeah, there. it's fine. Yeah, we'll work it out. We got the grandparents. Yeah, but then when That's the kid gets it gets old enough, Rainbow. they can start to be part of it and participate. Yes. Like my daughter has been a part of the film fest since we started. Since I started in 2010, nope. yeah, Amber's oh, awesome. She's 15 this year, so oh, she was 10, I guess, wow. when we started, and she's every year part of the promos and yeah, uh, yeah it's, oh, and awesome. it's awesome. Man. I mean, she's this. Uh, I mean, she's getting older and growing up, but uh, she's she's impressive because every year, you know, I'll be standing in a room with uh, this whole team here of super talented people, and then you've got Michael Johnson, who's just incredibly talented and funny, and Jeff Kaiholtz, who is just like blow you out of the water fantastic actor and we're all standing in a circle talking about ideas and there's Amber right in the mix and not only like not shying away from what's happening but offering ideas that are good I mean every year her ideas everybody's like oh that's Sam Sam's like no she doesn't have good ideas <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let her know you said it <laughs> no it's cool it's very cool yeah, it's yeah, like that. Yeah. It's probably awesome. a while before yeah, they can be yeah. useful. In no, it's way, it's but... cool to teach. It's cool to be able to show your yeah. kids the things you're into. Yeah, and yeah absolutely. absolutely. You'll get to teach them to not be pretentious with their. Yes, movies, right? yes, yes, we cannot have any of that. And them. then your kid will, your no. kids will grow up and be like, Ocean's Eleven sucks. <laughs> 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 I'll rebel by being pretentious. Uh -huh. well, my daughter liked the Goonies, so that, I was like, a, yeah. Like, yeah. How old is your daughter? Okay. Yeah. So it was one of those things that, like, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, man. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, it's cool when they hit those, those those ages where you're like, I can introduce you to Pee Wee's Playhouse, can I? Oh, you're yeah. gonna love Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. His new yeah. movie comes out soon. Netflix. He's got a new movie coming. Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. As Pee Wee Herman. Yes. Oh, sweet. Oh, all right. Be yeah. interesting. Yeah. All right. I'm always wary of things that happen 20 years after the fact. Yeah. Or however long. What um, could go wrong? <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> so it's either going to be good or a train wreck. Either way. It's either way. Worth yeah. Watching. Worth watching, I suppose. Yeah. Exactly. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in today. It was a great thank interview. Thank you. Yeah. This was fun. I uh, look forward to seeing what you guys. Uh, I mean, if you can't work this year, we'll miss you for sure. Oh, nice. um, but you. hopefully, you'll. Um, Maybe postpone the deli the labor. I will do all I can. I promise. <laughs> My daughter was a month late, so maybe. Yeah, you maybe. Oh my God, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. Well, that's it uh, for this episode. I'd like to thank Henley Vision for coming out and joining us tonight. Thank you guys, uh, and we'll see y'all next time.